All right, guys, back to work. Holiday weekend is over. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you guys made some money today. Boy, everybody is gearing up for that NVIDIA earnings coming out tomorrow night after the close. And we got some beautiful ranges on the charts tonight. I love ranges. Now, I know ranges can be tricky at first, especially for new traders, but don't you worry. By the time we're done tonight, you'll have an easy roadmap to make some money with all the ranges ahead of those big earnings coming out tomorrow night after the close. And we got a lot we're going to cover in a very important video tonight. Before we jump in and get our hands dirty on these charts, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I don't want you to miss tomorrow night's video, so make sure you subscribe. And if you like these lessons, if you enjoy these videos, hit that like button for me. Give me a shout out. Give me a hell yeah down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in, supporting the channel. Enough of the intro, though. Let's make some money this week. Charts are all ready. NASDAQ and the triple Qs are ready. Get the S&P and, of course, the SPY is ready in front of me. What are these 60-minute time frames? telling us right now well the s&p is pretty bullish right s&p bullish it looks like we're starting to trade into a juicy trading range on this 60 minute we're right at the lows of that range seems a great spot right now for a range reversal back up going higher here nasdaq is not as obvious nasdaq of course is overall bullish overall we had that big drop last week when the cpi report came out hotter than expected the bears have now successfully retested that low and now we pretty much wonder right do we rotate back up into that range or do the bears they hold this low and push this for another leg lower and ultimately put that final nail in the coffin for the bulls and take over control to the downside you know no matter what happens though it seems like we're in a great spot right now for some range reversals we're at support below trading ranges in an overall bull market i love the idea of some range reversals some bear traps running higher here now this is the easy part right the easy part is looking at the big picture the hard part are timing the entries properly Properly. We'll talk about entry timing in a few moments here. Before we dive into the tick charts, though, and talk entry tactics, because that's where the money is made for tomorrow, let's double check our schedule for tomorrow because we got a couple things that you want to keep on your radar tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, is a Wednesday. Monday, of course, was a holiday. There are two things on my radar tomorrow. Both of them are in the afternoon session. First of all, the FMC minutes at 2 p.m. Eastern time really are one of the big reports of the week this week. We know everybody is obsessing about when will the Fed start cutting rates? Earlier in the year, it was March. Now it's looking like May or June. It could be end of the year. We're going to find out tomorrow the FOMC minutes at 2 o'clock Eastern time. That is definitely something I'm tracking for tomorrow. And of course, everyone knows this, right? Tomorrow we have the big, highly anticipated NVIDIA earnings coming out after the close tomorrow night. We'll come back tomorrow night, obviously, and talk about that tomorrow night as we digest the earnings. But as you can see, everything is pretty much weighted to the the end of the day tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and of course, the video earnings after the close. So we have a wide open session tomorrow morning in our trade room. Don't miss it. 8 o'clock Eastern time. We'll trade this stuff together with all the members. Let's go back to our charts, though. The news is good to know when it is, but the money is made on the charts. Let's now go over my favorite trades here for tomorrow. We'll go S&P and the SPY first. We'll wrap things up in the NASDAQ and the triple Qs. These are very different charts tonight, so I'll give you a reason to stick around and watch the entire lesson right now. Now, we talk a lot about this in our video classes here at School of Trade. We are bullish overall, strong move up, strong move down, strong move up, strong move down. Anytime we see strong moves back and forth like this, basically one side of the market is unable to hold a pullback right now. Usually that means it's a trading range developing. And this would make a lot of sense, right? Because, of course, we got some big stuff from the FOMC tomorrow afternoon, and we have the big earnings uh, tomorrow after the close. So it looks like right now we're basically a bull market here into a trading range. And remember, ranges love to rotate, right? They like to rotate back and forth. So we anticipate this rotation up, down, up, down. Like I said earlier, this seems a good spot for a range reversal or range rotation back to the other side of that triangle, right? That's the big picture. Let's now do that with tick charts. So tick charts are going to make the entry timing a lot easier for tomorrow. This is a 7,000 tick chart. 
we trade tick charts every morning in our trade room. They, they make everything easier. And by the way, this is the 21 EMA. If you're tuning in and watching here for the first time right now, there are two really important clues on this tick chart that are kind of tipping us off to where we think the best entries and exits are going to be for tomorrow. The first clue is this big, strong move down we saw. Anytime we see a strong move in one direction, we always expect to get a two-legged pullback and a retest of that low. Knowing that we're overall bullish right now, I love the idea of some bear traps for a double bottom reversal. We'll talk about that because there are probably three different variations I'm watching for down there, right? Buying the double bottom. So three ways we can trade that for tomorrow. We'll dive into that as well. Another big clue though is is this trading range right here. The market made this little pop up into the into the afternoon this afternoon, chopped around a trading range, and then we've gone lower. And remember, ranges love to rotate. We talk, we talk a lot about this in our free trading classes, the amount below the range, the amount above the range, and we oftentimes will rotate off of that low. So when you think about that possibility too, again, we're overall bullish on the 60-minute time frame. I really like the idea of a breakout pullback. We use what used to be the top of that trading range, and we trade a breakout pullback. Now, breakout pullbacks, these also have three, we'll talk about four different variations. Again, breakout pullbacks are very generic terms, right? We'll talk about four variations of this. That way, you're ready to go no matter what variation we get uh, because the markets are always kind of gray, right? They're not always black and white. So we'll talk about those four ways to trade that breakout pullback going higher. So again, I like to buy that move going lower. I like the idea of the bottom. I like the idea of that breakout pullback. Why don't we cover the breakout pullback a bit later on in the video tonight. Let's start first here, though, with that move going lower because, again, the strength of that move down suggests that we're going to get a pullback and retest that low. And again, overall bull market, I'd like to buy that low. Now, as those sellers try to take out that low, they may not be successful. Again, it's the overall bull market. There's a trend line coming in right now. So we may not get that run back to that low. If we don't, if we, if we try going lower here and I start seeing the bears come in and try once to keep it going, try twice to keep it going. I'd like to use what we call a crown reversal pattern in our trade room. I call these shallow pullback traps. I'd like to use what's called a bear trap pattern, right? It's a it's basically bears try once, bears try twice. It's a higher high in price. And you'll notice quickly here, it's a move right below that, right, right below that prior low right there. These are this is called bear traps. We teach this pretty, pretty well in our free video classes. Again, we expect the bears are trying trying to take out that low, and while they do that, if they start to struggle around prior swings, around that channel, you know what I mean? If they struggle, I'm going to use a bear trap entry to trap the bears in and then try to squeeze their stops, right? Because if those bears get caught short, their stops be right there, and we can buy right into those stops right, for that run going higher. I like that shallow pullback trap. Now, there's a good chance they'll try to run this thing back down and take out that low. This is where, make sure you pay attention, we can look for a double bottom retest as well as a bear trap as it runs higher. Strong run down. If they do go back to retest the low, think about what happens down here. All the professional sellers who are selling high, if you sold that pullback right now, where would, you, where would your profit targets be? Back at that low, right? So it's safe to say that anyone who sold short up top, they become buyers, right, at that low because they're buying their way out of their position. So once we take out that low, we have to think that all the experienced traders, the people who sell high, don't sell low, they're taking their profit at this low. So that's left for the rookies, right? The rookies who do not not sell high, they sell low. Let's trap those rookies in, let them try once, let them try twice. Remember, I don't have a crystal ball. For all I know, it'll keep on going. It could be here, could be here, could be, I don't know how far that move will go. What I do know though is, is once we take out that low, once we take out that low, then let's see what happens in the pullback. If I start seeing bears come in and try a couple times right now, now they're trapped. And now we can use what I call a two try failure pattern. It's basically two tries for the bears. All I'm doing is, again, I don't know how far down that move will go, but I do know once those bears get stuck short, when those stops get hit, 
these can oftentimes squeeze and run really hard now back in the opposite direction. Now, pay attention here. But this is a really important part of this. This double bottom retest, which again, in the video class, I call these two try failure patterns. Where does the market want to go right now if it squeezes those bears and stops those bears out? It'll want to take out this high up here and ultimately go back into that range we had marked up overhead on the 60 minute time frame. So if we do end up going higher here, I don't want to chase the market going higher. I want to use what's called a bear trap entry. Bear traps are so simple. You need to learn these. It's a higher high in price and a move right below that prior swing. Now in the video class, we talk about the proper entry signal, the trade management on these, right? So good signal candle and get that run going higher. And again, that big range we had earlier on the 60 minute time frame, that all becomes, right? That all becomes the perfect spot to leave a target. So again, if we do get that double bottom reversal, trap those bears in, right? Don't pick the bottom, right? We're not in the business of picking tops and picking bottoms. Let those bears, let those rookie bears get in squeeze those stops and then as it makes that run higher look for that bear trap we see a lot of bear traps each day in our trade room right that's my game plan if it bounces off that low but let's let's slow down for a second because i know i know most of you guys watching right now you've taken our free video classes you've learned all these entry tactics i'm talking about but if you're here for the first time right now this could be a brand new language for you none of this might make any sense but don't you worry i teach all these entry patterns I have hundreds of examples of these entry patterns all linked up in our free video classes. I'll put a link up top there upper right hand corner, grab that link and take that free video course because I'll tell you, the strategy I teach in that video series will teach you a simple, simple trick we use in our members trade room to know exactly where the best entries are going to be each day. Once we know where to look, then we use four different entry patterns to trigger and time the perfect entry. Guys, the markets are way too good right now not to be making consistent money. If you're missing the best trades, each day, if you're taking too many loss, if you're not getting the results you want, hit that link up top there. Take that free trading course. It's perfect for someone trying to make the jump into full-time trading. Any hundreds of examples of failures and bear traps all included in that free video course. Also, too, keep in mind, too, if you can't grab the link up top there, I'll put all the important links I talk about tonight. I'll put all the important stuff in the description of the YouTube video. Put the free class links. We trade together every morning at 8 o'clock Eastern time in our trade room. I'll put the trade room membership links in the description. And also, too, if you're on Twitter or X, I post a lot of updates on Twitter or X during the day. If you're on Twitter, give me a follow. I'll put all the details in the description of the YouTube video. So that is my game plan as we go lower. Now, there's one variation of this. I mentioned earlier, the markets aren't always black and white. A lot of times, there's a lot of gray area here. And again, a bit later on in the video, in a moment or two, I'm going to talk about if we go higher. Because if we go higher, there's plenty of ways to make money if we go higher as well. So you don't want to click off the video just yet. So we talked about that bear trap right off of that low a few moments ago. Sometimes we don't get the chance to trap those bears in. Sometimes the market takes out that low. Oftentimes we get stuff like this, right? We'll take out that low, the bears once, the bears twice. We get an easy run going back higher, but sometimes we may not get that failure pattern to squeeze those stops. Sometimes there's so many buyers down here, it V bottoms right off of that low. We don't get that signal we want to buy nice and low here. These can be a bit frustrating, but here's the best way I like to trade them. When I get that V bottom off that low, what happens is it most oftentimes begins to grind and run higher. That grinding motion, for me personally, it drives you crazy because you're trying to get into it and it keeps on grinding, going higher. Whatever you do, don't chase after it. Watch me. Draw a trend line off the highs, bring it down off that low. We saw one of these on Friday, if you recall, and then look left. Find some prior swings. And I really want, I want, I want that first test off the low of this channel. This could be a bear trap, like I'm showing you right now. We could be underneath the 21 moving average. That gives you your failure into your pullback combination. We talk a lot about failure into pullback combos in the free video class I mentioned earlier. The most important thing though is if we don't get that signal off of that low, if we don't get those bears trapped in to buy off of that low, don't chase it 
as it goes higher. Right when that voice in your head, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who made that mistake, but when I was a rookie trader, I would chase after it, right? I would I would miss the entry down here because it wasn't a good signal. It would start grinding higher. I would chase after it. And once I got long up here is the minute it would come back, stop me out, and I swear it laughed at me as it went higher without me. So once that voice in your head says, come on, dummy, get in, get in, get in, don't chase after it, find that new channel off the high, Pin it off that low and don't miss that first test off the low of that channel. And again, this could be any of the entry patterns you guys are learning in the free video course, bear traps, failures, pullback combos, possibly strength trades, right, as we go. Again, trying to rotate now back up into that range we saw earlier on the 60-minute time frame. All right, guys? So that's the game plan if we go lower. Now let's talk about if we go higher, right, because there's probably just as much potential with this trading range if we go higher. Let's now move to the NASDAQ, though. The NASDAQ is very similar in a lot of ways, but it's quite different, you can see here, in some very important ways as well. On the NASDAQ right now, we're bullish overall, like, like, like I mentioned earlier in the introduction. We had that big rug pull that came after the CPI report came out hotter than expected last Tuesday. Anytime we see a strong move in one direction, what do we expect? A pullback and a retest of that low. This is the same principle we talked about a moment ago on the S&P. So now the bears got what they wanted. Now what, right? Now what? Do we go back up into that range or an overall bull market? The odds would suggest, right? Again, overall bullish. The odds would suggest now the bears got what they wanted now. We're at support now on a overall bull market. We should be expecting this market to try to rotate back up into this range magnet area up overhead the overall game plan is pretty simple timing the entry as always is always a little bit more challenging let's drill down now to our tick charts of course it's a 4,000 tick chart up top there in the same 21 ema the most important thing right now on this nasdaq is Strong run down, it pulls back, they retest, and you can see right away, right? The bears try once, the bears try twice, they get squeezed, and the market runs higher. This is that double bottom retest I was talking about a few moments ago, and you probably notice right here, what do we always say, right? Once you get that two try failure, then go looking for those what patterns, right? The bear trap patterns below that low. So everything we talked about earlier on the S&P is pretty much happening right in front of you now on the NASDAQ. It feels like, though, it feels like this now becomes one big trading range. It's basically a bear market into a trading range. That is, uh, well, at this point, makes sense, right? Because we, we, we have the big NVIDIA earnings coming out tomorrow after the close. It would make perfect sense for, for this market to kind of curl up in the fetal position, if you will, and buckle up for the ride tomorrow afternoon. Ranges are pretty simple, right? We know we're bullish overall. I would love to get a bear trap underneath that trading range. We'll talk about that in a moment here as well. Also, too, we know we're overall bullish. I would love to get a breakout pullback on that trading range. That is something we'll talk about in a, in a lot more detail here as well. All right. So it's, again, very, very, uh, very different chart than, than the S&P, but the game plan is pretty much the same game plan. If we do see a shallow pullback, right, going lower, remember ranges, you guys will learn a lot about ranges in, in the free video classes. Ranges love to rotate back and forth. So the amount above the range, the amount below the range, we know where the bears want to go. They want to take out that low here. If they make that run lower, and all of a sudden, though, now, we now start seeing the bears try once to keep it going lower, try twice to keep going lower, and I get that higher high in price and move right below that low, I need a bear trap in this scenario. I need that bear trap because, again, the odds are pretty good if we run lower, they're going to try to take out that low. So I need to trap in those bears with a bear trap pattern, right? Remember, buy shallow pullback traps for that run going higher. If we take out the low, it's easy, right? Take out that low. Don't pick the bottom, right? I don't know how far it will go. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future. But I do know, though, that when we retest that low, though, there'll be a lot of bears who, took, who got short overhead. They'll take their profit at that low. And once those rookies come in, if I can get those rookies coming in a couple times here again, like right back here. Right, I'm gonna try once, try twice, run those stops, and run back higher. It's that same two try failure. 
into that again as we go higher here you don't want to chase after it by as long by as low as you can and you want that bear trap pattern right that higher high in price that move right below that low right that is the same pattern you want to get on right to buy as low as you can right same basic idea we talked about on the S&P now going higher right the 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 problem the problem going higher is we don't want to buy high we want to buy as low as we as we possibly can so if this thing begins to squeeze right if it really rips and runs higher I want to buy as low as I can if it really begins to race and run higher and you'll know this when you see it if it raises higher, this one entry pattern we look for to buy low, and then of course it's always a bear trap. It's that higher high in price and that trap below that low. Now, oftentimes what happens is, is these breakouts will turn into measured moves. So one leg, two leg, we get a measured move, and then we start thinking about, okay, look left again, where was, what was resistance? How can I now turn resistance into support and now look for that pullback, that breakout pullback? Now, what I usually do on these is try to find a channel off the highs, bring it down off that low, right? Find a larger channel and pin that around, again, where what was prior resistance can be used as support now. Again, it's a range down here, most likely. So a breakout pullback off of that trading range. Now, remember, right? I don't know how far that pullback will go. What I do know, though, is, is once they get underneath that moving average and we start seeing bears get short on this, I can use that class classic failure into pullback combination or failure into bear trap combination. A lot of examples of these inside the free trading course, right? But that's the idea behind it, right? If we do end up really running higher here, again, right now, probably not as likely as a range rotation going lower right now, but hey, I don't have a crystal ball. I want to make sure I have a game plan ready for no matter what we get here for tomorrow. If it begins to rip higher, and this will also apply to the S&P as well, right? Same thing on the S&P. If it rips higher right now, grab that bear trap entry on the way up. Think about that measured move, right? That measured move. We, we talk about measured moves in the free trading course. Find that measured move after that breakout. And then once we take out that measured move, don't chase after it. Don't buy up there. Wait for that deep pullback. When they pull back like this, think about what was resistance above that trading range and use that now as support, right? Above it as well now, right? And again, we're not picking the bottom, right? We let the market pull back. We trap in those bears. We let them get short and we squeeze those stops for a failure into pullback or a failure into bear trap, right, going higher. And of course, we'll do this together tomorrow morning in our trade room if we get something like this. All right, guys, one more variation on this. One more variation, of course, is a pop and grind. The pop and grind, no, it's not our favorite dance move in our trade room. If this thing pops up and begins to grind and grind and grind, again, we saw a beautiful one of these a couple times last week. If it pops up and begins to grind, the grind is is the giveaway you mark off that high you bring it down off that big low and what do we do we look left we find prior swings swings are where are where traps live get under the moving average that's where failure patterns live get above the moving average that's where pullback combinations live or right if it if jumps up and runs higher that's we look for those bear traps. So a small variation of that breakout pullback once again, right? If it pops up and begins to grind, 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 the grind is the giveaway. Look over here, right? Look what happens here, right? It pops down, it grinds, grinds, grinds. Guess what you do? Draw a trend line off the lows, up around that high, right? Find some prior swings and don't miss that first test off of that high. Same idea, right? Same idea. That's just simply a bearish example. So we do run higher, we break out going higher, pop and grind going higher, that's the game plan, right, if we do go higher. All right, guys, the game plan is all set for tomorrow. It's a pretty easy game plan, right? Buy breakout pullbacks if we go higher, buy those bear traps as we go lower. Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Eastern time, the best place to be is with us in our trade room. Trade along with me. I can't think of any better way to learn to trade than to come out and do it with me every morning at the opening bell. I'll put all the important links 
the description of the video tonight, the free class links that would definitely start there if you're watching for the first time right now, our trade room membership links, hopefully someday soon. I'll see you trading there with us in the morning trade room. And again, Twitter feed, all the stuff you guys need, description of the YouTube video. Any questions, any challenges getting asked to our free video classes, any issues at all, don't be a stranger. You can always email, call, use Skype, use live chat. If you have questions about brokers or charting software, whatever the questions might be, don't be a stranger. We're always here to help out along the way. All right, guys? Boy, a fantastic day today. Big day coming tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow afternoon, be careful in the afternoon tomorrow. The money is made tomorrow in the morning session or early afternoon, I would imagine, with that with that FOMC announcement coming out at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So hopefully, you'll learn a bunch tonight. Hopefully, you'll use this knowledge to earn a bunch tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll see you sometime soon, trading along with us, finding winning trades with us in the morning trade room. In the meantime, though, be well. Be nice to each other out there, and you better be here next time. Adios, amigos. Bye for now.